What is going on guys? I have a slew of Mishimoto parts uh, going into my Jeep and today we're going to start off with this uh, baffled oil catch can. Um, comes in this super nice box. Not going to do an unboxing but it's got like nice aluminum fittings. This uh, bracket that goes on top you can clock it but the most important part is this uh, two port um, in and out. Um, so let's go check it out in the actual engine bay. Real quick, I think it's important to talk about what a catch can does for those who don't know. Like I said, it's got two ports and in and in out. Essentially what it does is um, takes uh, essentially the air coming out of the valve cover. Um, I, I have a T because there's two and from the factory, it goes into the intake and the intake manifold and essentially there's still oil in that because it's from the valve cover and burns off that oil or in a lot of these engines cases just kind of cakes up the intake the, both the intake throttle body and intake manifold so instead you put this uh, in between it separates the oil from the air catches it in here it has a little magnet so you can see uh, or I guess that's a drain, um, a drain plug, but then you can take it out and uh, maintain your um, essentially crankcase pressure with uh, putting the out back into the intake manifold. Um, so now it leaves me where to put this. Um, it comes with self tappers for the bracket and you could put it back on the firewall, but that's gonna lead to leaks if not sealed properly. Um, and I kind of like this little cubby over here. So I'm gonna explore that first. I like the idea of using the uh, fuse cover because it's structurally-ish sound plastic as well as I can go to the junkyard and pick one of these up if I end up breaking it or don't like the position for a couple bucks. I'm thinking of just mounting it uh, right there and it should land right in that cubby with um, some M4, I believe, through bolts and nuts. with just like a sliver to spare. It fits with those size bolts, slides down in. And because it's plastic, it moves a little bit and fits. So here's a better view without the uh, overflow for the radiator zoomed in you can see that uh, once this is on you kind of have to rotate it around we'll call that kind of good and then figure out how to snake these lines through
a little bit of three eighths line from the intake manifold to the brake booster. And that is my intake manifold completely sealed off. All right, that is my air oil separator, all mounted, plumbed up. I'm not sure it's finalized. I might end up having to trim this a little bit depending on uh, the, the intake. But other than that, it is all complete. Next up is gonna be more Mishimoto goodies. Probably gonna get the radiator in, mount up the fans, figure out my oil and transmission fluid cooler um, radiators. I'm not, I, Mishimoto sent me one with fans and one without. I'm not exactly sure which one I'm gonna use quite yet, but we'll see that when we get there. Thanks guys, see ya. Thank you.